Hello and welcome to Amazing Aircraft. Today we're exploring the incredible X-47B. This is a groundbreaking unmanned combat aerial vehicle designed for carrier-based operations. Developed by Northrop Grumman, the X-47B was part of the U.S. Navy's Unmanned Combat Air System Demonstration Program. This tailless, jet-powered, blended wing-body aircraft can perform semi-autonomous missions and aerial refueling. It's also one of the first unmanned aircraft to take off and land successfully on an aircraft carrier. How did this plane come to be, and what makes it so special? Let's dive into its story. The X-47B is a tailless, jet-powered, blended wing-body aircraft capable of autonomously taking off and landing on aircraft carriers. With a wingspan of 18.9 meters, a length of 11.6 meters, and a height of 3.1 meters, the X-47B weighs approximately 13 tons when empty and 20 tons at maximum takeoff weight. Powered by a Pratt & Whitney F-10220U turbofan engine, the X-47B can reach a top speed of Mach 0.9 and has an operational range of 3,900 kilometers. It can carry up to 2,000 kilograms of weapons in two internal bays and is equipped with advanced sensors and communication systems that allow it to operate in a networked environment. The X-47B emerged from a research initiative that began in 2000 when the U.S. Navy awarded contracts to Boeing and Northrop Grumman for a naval unmanned combat aerial vehicle. The program was later renamed the Unmanned Combat Air System Demonstration Program, and in 2007, Northrop Grumman's X-47B was selected as the winner. The X-47B project involved several subcontractors, including Lockheed Martin, Pratt & Whitney, GKN Aerospace, Eaton, General Electric, UTC Aerospace Systems, Dell, Honeywell, Moog, Wind River, Parker Aerospace, Sargent Aerospace and Defense, and Rockwell Collins. The first X-47B prototype was rolled out in 2008 and made its first flight in 2011. Since then, it has undergone extensive flight and operational integration testing, demonstrating its ability to perform various tasks such as catapult launches, arrested landings, touch-and-goes, aerial refueling, and flying alongside manned aircraft. The X-47B has also proven its compatibility with the flight deck, hangar bays, and communication systems of an aircraft carrier. The X-47B completed its primary test program in 2015 and was intended to become a museum exhibit. However, the Navy decided to keep it in flying condition for further evaluation. The X-47B is not only a remarkable technological achievement, but also a potential game-changer in unmanned combat aerial vehicles. It is one of the few examples of a stealthy and autonomous aircraft that can operate from a carrier, giving it a significant advantage over land-based drones. It is also one of the most advanced nodes in a network-centric warfare system, enabling it to share information and coordinate actions with other platforms across multiple domains. The X-47B is designed to perform missions that are too dangerous or complex for manned aircraft, such as penetrating enemy airspace, striking high-value targets, or suppressing enemy air defenses. The X-47B's flight testing program began in 2011 and lasted until 2015. During this period, the X-47B underwent extensive flight and operational integration testing, both on land and at sea, achieving many aviation firsts that proved its capabilities and potential. The first flight of the X-47B took place at Edwards Air Force Base, California, on February 4, 2011. It was a successful 29-minute flight that tested the basic airworthiness and handling qualities of the aircraft. The second X-47B made its maiden flight at the same location on November 22, 2011. The two X-47Bs performed so consistently that preliminary tests ended after 16 flights. The first land-based catapult launch of the X-47B was conducted at Naval Air Station Patuxent River, Maryland, on November 29, 2012. This test verified the aircraft's ability to withstand the high forces and accelerations of a catapult launch, essential for carrier operations. The X-47B also performed its first land-based arrested landing at Patuxent River on May 4, 2013, 
demonstrating its precision and control in landing on a simulated carrier deck. The first carrier-based launch and landing of the X-47B were conducted on board the USS George H.W. Bush in the Atlantic Ocean on May 14 and July 10, 2013, respectively. These historic events marked the first time an unmanned aircraft was catapulted off and recovered on an aircraft carrier at sea. The X-47B performed flawlessly, showing its ability to integrate with the carrier environment and follow the commands of the landing signal officer. The X-47B also performed touch-and-go landings and takeoffs from the carrier, another first for an unmanned aircraft. It also operated from another carrier, the USS Theodore Roosevelt, in November 2013 and August 2014. The first night flight of the X-47B was performed at Patuxent River on April 10, 2014, demonstrating its reliability and performance in low-light conditions, which are common for carrier operations. The X-47B also performed its first integrated operations with manned aircraft on board the USS Theodore Roosevelt on August 17, 2014, marking the first time a UAV operated in conjunction with manned aircraft aboard an aircraft carrier. The X-47B launched from the carrier, followed by an F-A-18 Hornet. After a brief flight, the X-47B touched down and immediately took off again to verify system behavior. After 24 minutes, the X-47B landed on the flight deck and taxied away to give the Hornet room to land. The demonstration met all test objectives and showed the X-47B's compatibility and interoperability with the carrier air wing. In 2014, the X-47B won the prestigious Laureate Award from Aviation Week for its extraordinary achievements in aeronautics and propulsion. The award recognizes outstanding accomplishments in the global aerospace industry, and the X-47B was selected for its successful demonstration of carrier-based operations and autonomous aerial refueling. The X-47B also received the Collier Trophy from the National Aeronautic Association for its historic breakthrough in aviation technology as the first unmanned, tailless aircraft to launch from and land on an aircraft carrier. The trophy also recognized the X-47B's contribution to the future of autonomous and unmanned aviation. The first autonomous aerial refueling of the X-47B was conducted over the coast of Maryland on April 22, 2015. This test was the world's first fully autonomous aerial refueling, meaning that the X-47B controlled all aspects of the refueling process, from rendezvous and formation flying to probe insertion and retraction. The X-47B successfully received fuel from an Omega Air KC-707 tanker, using a probe and drug system. This test marked the completion of all primary demonstration tasks required of the X-47B and showed its ability to extend its range and endurance through aerial refueling. The X-47B is not intended to enter service as an operational aircraft, but rather as a technology demonstrator and a precursor to future unmanned systems. The X-47B's technology and capabilities have paved the way for several naval aviation programs that aim to increase lethality and ensure air superiority in the 21st century. One of these programs is the MQ-25 Stingray, an unmanned aircraft system designed to provide aerial refueling to carrier-based aircraft, thereby extending their range and flexibility. The MQ-25 Stingray is being developed by Boeing and is expected to enter service in the early 2020s. The MQ-25 Stingray will use some of the software and hardware from the X-47B, such as the aerial refueling equipment and the deck handling system, to perform its mission. The MQ-25 Stingray will also benefit from the X-47B's experience and lessons learned in carrier operations. Another program influenced by the X-47B is the Next Generation Air Dominance Fighter, or NGAD, a program of the U.S. Air Force and Navy aiming to develop a family of advanced stealthy manned and unmanned aircraft that can operate in contested and denied environments. The NGAD program is expected to deliver a sixth-generation fighter that will replace the F-22 Raptor and the F-A-18 Super Hornet as well as a loyal wingman drone that will accompany the manned fighter and perform various tasks, 
such as reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and strike. The NGAD program is likely to leverage some of the technology and capabilities of the X-47B, such as the stealthy design, semi-autonomous operation, and aerial refueling capability. A third program related to the X-47B is the Future Combat Air System, or FCAS, a joint European project to develop a next-generation air combat system that will consist of a manned fighter jet and a swarm of networked unmanned aircraft. Led by France, Germany, and Spain, the FCAS project involves several aerospace companies, such as Dassault Aviation, Airbus, and BAE Systems. The FCAS project aims to create a modular and scalable system that can perform a wide range of missions in a highly contested and dynamic environment. The FCAS project is inspired by the X-47B's concept of a system of systems approach rather than a singular platform. The FCAS project will also draw from the X-47B's technology and capabilities to enhance its performance and survivability. The X-47B is a testament to the innovation and collaboration of the U.S. Navy and Northrop Grumman, as well as their partners and subcontractors. It also provides a glimpse into the future of warfare, where unmanned and autonomous systems will play a vital role in ensuring national security, enhancing global partnerships, and powering economic growth. That's all for this video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing aircraft content. What do you think about having drones on aircraft carriers? What are the advantages and challenges of using them? What are the ethical and legal implications of deploying unmanned combat vehicles? How do you think they will change the future of warfare and security? The sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning. Thanks for watching and see you next time.